Did you know there are five types of pelvic organ prolapse? Let's talk about them today. Hi, I'm Sherry Palm, the founder and CEO of Apopsy Association for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Support. Cystocele is probably the most common type of prolapse. This is where the bladder drops down, and you may notice incontinence. When you get into a more aggressive state of cystocele, you may have urine retention. You can't get the pee to come out because the urethra gets crimped off like a hose. A rectocele is when a bulge or hernia occurs in the rectal wall, and typically what happens is the poop gets caught in that bulge, and you're chronically constipated. You can't get, have a bowel movement to save your soul. You may go every few days having a few rabbit-sized poops come out, and that may be all you are fortunate enough to have. And you've tried eating every kind of fiber and trying every product on the market, and nothing seems to help. It's very difficult to treat a rectal seal. Enterocele is when the intestines drop down behind the back wall of a vagina. I've also heard from women who have had enterocele's come through on the front side of the vagina as well. Any place there's a weakness in that support structure, they can come through. A uterine prolapse occurs when the uterus drops down into the vaginal canal. It may be partially down into the vaginal canal. It may be fully in the vaginal canal and peeking out of the vagina, or the uterus can go completely outside of the vagina. That's called procedentia. It does occur in the U.S., although not as frequently as it occurs in developing zones like Nepal. Vaginal vault prolapse occurs when women have hysterectomies and the top part of the vagina is not secured properly. What happens is that top part of the vagina, those walls cave in on themselves. There are four levels of severity with, with uh, POP, and you may have any combination of these types of POP. Every woman is a little bit unique depending on what your backdrop is. What's important is that you recognize you have got pelvic organ prolapse. And once you have got a diagnosis of POP that you seek counsel with a fellowship trained urogynecologist or urologist to determine exactly which types you have. Typically women have got more than one type of POP. And you can then go forward with your treatment plan. Once you know the degree of severity and which types you have, you can set your plan in motion and go forward with your life. Whether you choose to utilize non-surgical treatment options or surgery, whatever is the best fit for you. More information about these different types of POP is available on the APOPS website. And you can also find additional information on the library page, the articles on the library page. If you have specific targeted questions you'd like answers to, I encourage you to submit them to our chat room. The link for that is on the home page. It's a Facebook chat room and it's a secure environment to submit your questions. No one can see the questions except those that are members of that chat room. If you have more questions, I hope to see you there.